Ever since about a week or two ago, I became very interested in reversing different diseases. I never thought much about that before because I didn't think it was possible. I'm Dr. Greg Ellis, and I want to talk about reversing degenerative diseases, heart disease, diabetes, aging, blood vessel damage, uh, cancer. So ever since I saw my first major paper on this where they actually reversed kidney damage by the use of a low carbohydrate diet, I'm running into stuff everywhere I turn. Now the newest thing that I've been looking at here is the effect of something called nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is secreted by the cells that make up your blood vessels and it dilates them, it reduces the grouping together of bad cells that would cause damage to the blood vessels. And now I'm finding papers that talk about the powerful effect of nitric oxide at reducing cell death, which normally occurs during the aging process. And of course what I'm also running into is the idea that glucose, or blood sugar, is the primary culprit in the aging process. It's called cell death and that they're actually reversing the damage to the blood vessels by the use of nitric oxide. Now you can buy nitric oxide as a supplement, you can also buy it as L-arginine. L-arginine is an amino acid and an enzyme takes the L-arginine and produces nitric oxide and another amino acid called citrulline out of the arginine. This is what researchers have now identified as the nitric oxide L-arginine pathway. And a quick medline search turns up that there's now published on this topic of nitric oxide 109,000 plus research papers. That's just daunting. It's absolutely extraordinary. And nitric oxide has a whole bunch of biological effects on the body that are very important to our health. So it's very exciting to see that you can go out and get yourself an L-arginine supplement and start taking that. And if you add that to L-citrulline and also some antioxidants, the primary ones being vitamins A, C, and CoQ10, that they'll prevent the damage created by the inflammatory reactive oxygen species that are produced from damaged cells. So this is the process that's going on in your body as you age and glucose is causing a lot of it but you can certainly go on a low carbohydrate diet and reduce your exposure to the glucose but you can also do a supplementation program and begin to actually reverse some of this damage that's occurring. So that's all very exciting research and I'm just amazed that I'm seeing so much out there that talks about reversing these diseases. Because three weeks ago, I was just convinced like everybody else that you don't reverse this stuff. You may slow it, you may stop it, but reverse it? Now that just seems crazy. Now, you're, you're not going to do any of this if you follow the government's recommendations on their high carbohydrate diet because that diet is always going to produce a lot of glucose and the glucose is what will damage you. So you've got to keep your glucose reduced. Of course this information is not getting out there and the low carbohydrate diet is still talked about in respect to weight control and in respect to the possibility of what it can do to different fat factors in the blood like cholesterol and these other things which I've already described are just meaningless. They, they never were responsible for anything. It was always glucose. But for 50 years, every diet they studied was a diet composed of what I call supermarket foods. And they're the foods you find in the supermarket. So you end up with a mixture of carbohydrates and fats and proteins, mostly carbohydrates, and then fat got blamed. But it was the carbohydrates. It's only now that we've moved into the study of diets that have their carbohydrate content dramatically removed that we can see the actual effect of carbohydrate restriction and what that does to the fats in the blood. And 
we find that it just makes everything much, much better. So this now implicates carbohydrates as the cause of most of these problems, and certainly not fat. I'm Dr. Greg Ellis.